Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabar here. It's been a while since I've done my last recorded video since uh, my movie review of Godzilla vs. Kong, which was last week, on account of doing some more commercial breaks that I found online, as usual, that I've been working so hard on, doing some editing, try to fix the sound, because it's always getting stuck on left speaker, so I want to make it both uh, left and right, and then have to try to edit out one commercial because it involved a restriction of copyright claim. I try to take that off, but it keeps getting stuck. And then I have to fix other stuff that gets repeated at times. And then next thing you know, I had to re-upload the video. It took me hours. It was on end and so on and so forth. And that was a problem. So it <sighs> was too much. So now I'm decided to now do a video where I actually received some gifts that I got a few weeks ago, just recently, and you wouldn't believe it. But I'm going to show you to it right now. So, excuse me. <laughs> well, I believe I finally got a brand new Sony 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player. And it also contains all the streaming apps and, well, just only free. And it has all the stuff that you need. Like, it could play 4K HDR. Dolby Vision has high resolution audio, 4K streaming services around, and a whole lot more. It can even play Blu ray 3Ds, uh, BD Live. Yeah, it can go directly to the Ethernet, yeah, which will take you to the Internet and all. You know, it has Wi Fi, has Java, yeah. And uh, got HDR 10. Yeah, it's right there here. Sorry, because I keep moving the boxes back and forth. <laughs> um, so it even has this hybrid log gamma and stuff. So, hard to believe. My very first 4K Ultra HD player. It's actually called the UBPX800M2. I uh, got this at Best Buy for only. Two hundred and ninety-nine ninety-nine, which is three hundred. It's about the same price that I got my first Blu-ray player from Sony, and it actually works surprisingly. And I'm glad to have this because I heard a lot of uh, a little bit of maybe um, some issues um, on this player itself. Like people were saying that that they had trouble uh, playing some 3D content. Uh, when the Dolby Vision's on, or something like that, or or maybe it had some freeze, freezing issues on maybe a few uh, movies that they play on, like on, on a Blu-ray or DVD or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I can live with the issues too, because it could also happen on any player. But that doesn't mean that it's bad. <laughs> but it's nice to have this, so now I can finally play all the 4K Ultra HDs that I would buy. But so far, I only have four, which is Alita Battle Angel, uh, along with Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, I got that, which I didn't show you, but, but I did show you on my Facebook page. Uh, I took a picture of that uh, during last summer. And I also got, of course, as I show you, uh, The Incredible Hulk from 2008 and Ghost in the Shell from 1995. So those are the only... 4Ks I got. The rest is just Blu-rays, DVDs, you name it. And of course I have VHS tapes too and stuff, but whatever. But it won't play on this. So this is an awesome set to own. And in order for me to watch it with it, I had to get a 4K HDMI cable. It's a four foot from Rocketfish that's actually from Best Buy. Yes, it's a 4K Ultra HD and HDR compatible. So yes, I can actually play um, all the 4Ks, and I can even play regular Blu-rays on there too, um, in that format, no matter what. Um, you can connect this to a regular HD TV. Yeah, because I still have my 11-year-old uh, Sony Bravia TV, and it still works, as far as it actually does. So I can connect this to my player. And when I get a 4K TV uh, soon, which I know I will, 
I'll be able to use this as well and see how it works and I'll be able to get the full experience of 4K yeah, which is ultra high definition right there and I'll probably be able to watch Dolby Vision too and stuff and you'll probably get Atmos too and they can even tell you um, the options here like one could be HDR and another could be SDR and you can even play uh, regular Blu-rays and DVDs and all this stuff um, in that format too. So it's really nice to have this. Okay, and to top it all off with uh, another 4K here, I just got a brand new Amazon Fire Stick TV 4K, and this was a replacement to my um, regular first generation Fire Stick which was actually my mom's but we had to use it anytime because it's for the family so whenever I watch some some streaming of such as Netflix uh, NBC HBO or at this rate HBO Max and I can even watch Disney Plus uh, YouTube Tubi Pluto TV you name it tons of those apps even Hulu and all the Prime videos too. <laughs> uh, each, they even got uh, IMDb TV and, and all. Sling. <laughs> uh, but now I get to see this in a much faster processor and you could definitely view this in 4K. It would have Dolby Vision and HDR10 or any other that you like to choose and of course you get to watch this on a regular TV it does work on my, my TV as well and when I get a 4K TV it will be even better <laughs> um, but yes I actually got to watch um, a lot of these apps and I couldn't believe they run a lot faster than before you know only a few buffers but not much because at times it doesn't buffer all the time it doesn't freeze you know, it doesn't cut off, but I guess it depends on how the internet connection uh, resides. But it doesn't do that all the time, which I'm really happy. So now I get to watch it all the time. That's cool. Oh, and finally, my last gift. And you wouldn't believe this. <laughs> I got Victrola 7 in one turntable. This is the vinyl player that my sister got and now I get to play some vinyls on this. And not only do you play vinyls and I love how they get the vintage look here. You can play CDs as well as um, cassettes. You get to uh, listen to music directly from your Bluetooth headphones. Uh, it has all the options you need and you're all set <laughs> so, I'm so glad to have this I bought this at uh, Walmart for like a hundred dollars yeah it's very really expensive but for that set alone I mean I need it <laughs> so now I get to play some music too to, to join in I only have two vinyls though um, I couldn't believe it because I never thought I would find some, so that's really cool. Now here is exactly, as you see, it has that dial where, you know, that's used for the radio. So AM, FM, these are the buttons used for the CDs. Um, they also use it to program, so maybe you can even uh, yeah, convert them to MP3s. You can even put on directly for your computer. and. Okay, I'm going to try to move all these remotes around. I know I have everything all over the place, um, but I'm just trying to keep up with it. Um, so, sorry. <laughs> um, but this is what it looks like. This is where you can see the, the armrest uh, needle, so you can connect it directly to the record. And it even has the extractions and all here and there. <laughs> so there you go so the only way you can play the cassette is actually right here <laughs> there's the auto stop 
Now here's my 4K player already set up. Yeah, joining in with my second Blu-ray player. <laughs> and along with the other players I usually have right there. So now I'm just going to start by turning on the TV using my remote for the 4K player. Here we go. This does have the Bravia Sync. Yeah, the Sony startup. Let's see how it goes directly to it. Okay, it's just taking time. And here we go. This is the menu for the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player. See, there's no disc on there. I'm not going to play the 4K disc um, just to see what it looks like. I'm just going to show you exactly what the menu is. And see, it has everything you need. So you get to click whatever you choose. And all this other stuff that you want. Um, so it's just a quick one. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off. And this is going to redirect to the Amazon Fire Stick TV 4K. <laughs> so it's already set up. Um, yes, you have all the apps here and all of all the TV shows and movies available. That you can choose, you know, 24, Revenge, Nashville, Body of Proof, Spit Housewives, Boston, you name it, all these shows. And movies and stuff, and then you got all these apps like Hulu, Disney Plus, Pluto TV, YouTube, Stir, YouTube TV, Netflix, Vudu. Yeah, this is where I put all the uh, digital codes of all my physical media on there. So now I have my own digital library for that. Same goes with movies anywhere. You can do that. NBC, Popcorn Flix, Tubi. Apple TV or Apple TV Plus, yeah, there's Boomerang right there, Paramount Plus, HBO Max, I mean, you name it, you get everything that you want. And all the shows that you choose, as you can watch anytime, anywhere. <laughs> it's just, just a perfect menu right there. Um, now I'm going to try out uh, something special here. Yes, there's Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics available on Amazon Prime. Just click on it. Um, I'm going to try to resume it and maybe go back. Okay. Or just, uh, just watch from the beginning. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. And there you go. Yeah, there's nobody there. So that's just a brief tour of what it looks like. So now I get to watch everything here. And there you go. So, uh, let's turn this off. You can even use the, um, this button to, to contact Alexa. So they can tell you exactly what you want to watch here and there. Or what you want to do. Everything. Just show you uh, exactly what it looks like. <laughs> so, that's the gifts that I receive. And I'm really happy. So now I get to watch a lot of movies, TV shows, and all this other stuff that I never thought I would have. And when I get a 4K TV, I'm going to experience it. Exactly how it should be. <laughs> so anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.